everyone, today we wanted to share an updated video to physically show you electrostatic discharge or ESD for short in our demo rig. This amazing phenomenon is the result of static buildup caused by the interaction between the fluid and the filter element. Similar to how you can generate a static buildup using a balloon and your clothing. Of course, this doesn't always result in physical sparking as we can see here. And that's because there are two key factors that influence the likelihood of ESD. Firstly is the conductivity of the oil. If this is below 500 picosiemens, then that is a contributing factor. Secondly is the workload of the filter element. If this is greater than 0.01 liters per minute per centimeter squared, then that will also increase the risk of arcing. Why is this a problem? Well, the sparking has many negative impacts on your system. One of which is the fact that these sparks can be in the range of 10,000 degrees Celsius. This localized extreme heat can break the fluid and cause the formation of sludges and varnish. Another problem is that these sparks can burn large holes in the media, turning your 5 micron filter into a 200 micron filter, increasing the risk of particulates within your system. How do I know if I have or if I'm at risk of ESD? One thing that is recommended is to take an oil sample and perform a conductivity measurement. If you're already experiencing ESD within the system, your oil will likely darken and laboratory testing may pick up on an increased level of varnish. If it is as extreme as this situation, you will also be able to hear the static noises of sparks discharging within the filter housing. What can I do to solve ESD troubles or to reduce this risk? The key to this solution is to change the nature of those interactions between the oil and the filter. At HIDAC, we have patented filter solutions that prevent that static buildup at its source. Our STAT3 and STATX filter technologies, ultimately extending your fluid lifetime and protecting your components. Have you had your own experience with electrostatic discharge or do you have any other questions relating to this or any other areas of oil maintenance? Please drop a comment below and if you enjoyed this video then like and subscribe for more content of this nature. Thank you for watching and have a great day.